Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stacey, creator at Mother Naked. Please don't forget to subscribe if any of my videos help you out. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about making claims about your candles. So, uh, vegan and organic, natural specifically. Okay, so the claim organic on your candles. Okay, so misleading claims are illegal. If we want to get specific, they're illegal by virtue of the consumer protection from unfair trading regulations, which is of course enforced by our lovely trading standards. So look, the main point is if only like 12% of your ingredients is organic, then you shouldn't put organic as the claim on your candle. If only a portion of it has been certified because consumers see an organic label on it and think, oh, like 90% of it is organic. Um, so you can't do that if like, a f like a f you've added a few organic ingredients. Personally, I would just avoid organic claims because the trading standards could always ask you, where's your certificate, where's your registration of, of a control body to kind of verify your organic claims. Organic claim must be backed up completely and most, if not all, do it by an independent of assessing company and it's all agreed by a certification body and it's all very complicated. So I personally would avoid organic claims altogether for my candles. So what about the claims made using organic ingredients? Yes, they can be made according to the British Candle Federation, but you have to be specific. So is it your essential oils that are organic? Is it your wax that's organic? Also, if you choose to have this on, you also need a copy of your certification of um, that particular brand or product being organic. Okay, so next, more in my wheelhouse. Vegan claims. Vegan claims are a lot less regulated than organic claims. And a product, it's pretty straightforward, a product can be vegan or vegan friendly if all of the products that you sourced do not contain any parts animal origin at all. No animals have been exploited due any process. Consumers should be confident that having your product in their homes meets their ethical standards, which is fair enough. There is also an authentic vegan standard kind of label that you can put on your products. I didn't do this with my last one because it was with my last range because we were just starting up and then we had to start a new range. With my new range, I will be applying for this kind of low, like label scheme and it's completely operated by the vegan society. Another thing to check when you are producing a vegan or vegan friendly product is make sure your wicks are vegan, 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 vegan. Uh, some aren't and they don't specify that they aren't you just think it's candle wax why wouldn't it be uh vegan or vegan friendly some of them aren't uh especially check with tcr i just if you've got a company that you use and you're using a vegan product make sure they are completely vegan just email them and let that information come back to you because uh, some of them aren't uh, some of them are dipped in kind of different waxes and just make sure they're vegan uh, you've got a vegan wick in your products and if anyone's looking for a vegan tcr series wick which is what i'm always on about now on the channel which is what i use which is double um i use i'm always conscious of saying double wicks because i always think it like can mean something else to someone i use two wicks in each candle uh, and i use tcr series and cozy owl uh vegan friendly uh so the, those are the ones that i've chosen to use for my products some are nice enough like Cozy Owl to put it on if they're vegan friendly. So just watch out for that and make sure everything is vegan that you're using. Some ingredients and products are a little bit tricky. Um, and that's about it. That's about organic and vegan claims. So also another thing about claims, be careful when you're measuring burn time. I would completely leave it off if I was you. When I was talking to Trade Standards Man uh, and we were talking about the grams, of weight on your candle and how it has to be exact if you're going to put it on uh so he said leave it off you know so you get yourself out of that situation i would be very very careful with claiming that your candle burns for so many hours uh usually that's a process that you get out of house um and it's kind of independently assessed and things like that so i wouldn't i wouldn't go anywhere near it um but that's me uh so 
but I would be careful with any claims that you're making, like natural. Natural's a bad one. They went through, about 10 years ago, they went through a lot of products that had natural in their branding and they just weren't natural. So you have to be really careful about claiming something about your product and um, that you don't have the information to back it up. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching my videos and I'll see you tomorrow.